Hello, this is Blue Joe Saunders, WBO middleweight champion of the world. Subscribe to Sport and Icons to stay in touch with all the top news. God bless you all. Now, Frank Warren, he's been promising some pay-per-view for BT Sport for some time, and he's been highly, highly critical of every single pay-per-view event that Eddie Hearn does. And... 9 out of 10 pay-per-views have turned out to be absolutely masterclass from Eddie Hearn. But as you can see on the screen right there, Frank Warren deems these as pay-per-view worthy. Prices yet to be announced. Now to start with, they're going to do the Triple G vs Canelo, the rematch, which will be over in Las Vegas on September the 15th. That will be available here in the UK on BT Sport Box Office. In other words, you're going to have to pay for it. Two more fights have also been confirmed to be BT Box Office as well. Tyson Fury vs Deontay Wilder and Josh Warrington vs Carl Frampton. Now ultimately for Wilder and Tyson Fury that would be WBC heavyweight title against Lineal and of course Josh Warrington vs Carl Frampton for the IBF title. So while they're all good fights, for me personally I don't believe that we should have to pay pay-per-view to watch a foreign fight. That's just my opinion. When neither of these guys are British, for me, that's not a good look. But hey, listen, Frank Warren, he's been highly critical of Eddie Hearn, so let's jump on Frank Warren. Let's see if Frank Warren's ones are better than what Eddie Hearn puts on. So Triple G against Canelo, or Canelo versus Triple G if you prefer the rematch. Excellent fight, looking forward to it. Is it pay-per-view? Absolutely. Is it pay-per-view UK? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Okay. Um, if this fight was going to happen on UK soil, yes, of course. If one of these fighters was British, yes, of course, I would agree with that. But as of this is a foreigner's fight in a foreign country, why should we have to pay pay-per-view for this? Honestly. Now, I know that Eddie Hearn, well, no, actually, it wasn't Eddie Hearn. It was Sky Sports. So let's not blame Eddie Hearn for Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. That was a Sky Sports decision, not Eddie Hearn. Okay. So yes, Guy Sports did do it. BT Sport going to do it as well. Okay, fine. Let's move on. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. Now this one is one hell of a mismatch. If Tyson Fury can double his performance what he was against Pianeta, maybe he's going to have a very good chance of maybe outboxing and schooling Deontay Wilder so long as he can I know, stay away from Wilder's big right hand. But Wilder, very, very good at fighting from range and when Tyson Fury gets on the back ropes, it, it's going to be game over. I know Tyson Fury is very good with his back against the ropes, but ultimately, you know what, fine. It's totally a mismatch for me, and I know most of you guys out there are going to say that Tyson Fury needs a couple more fights before he gets in there for a world title fight, and that would be against Anthony Joshua, or against Dillian White, or somebody of that kind of level. But for him to go straight into Deontay Wilder, that's a mismatch, and for me, I think Frank Warren is using this just to try and get box office. That's why he rushed it through. And yes, no date and venue. Tim Wilder signed it. No date and venue. But wouldn't sign it with Joshua. Strange that. So let's move on to Josh Warrington versus Carl Frampton. Is this a pay-per-view? No. Is the answer? In all honesty, no it's not. Now, I could say that it's going to be a great fight. Absolutely. Who's going to win? I don't know, to be honest. I'm probably going to have to favour Carl Frampton, to be fair. But, you know... Josh Warrington, he's got some metal about him. And, it, and you know what? He showed that against Selby. Um, so it's going to be a good fight. And Frank Warren needs to put on a very, very good undercard. But, and I'm not talking about Anthony Yard against another bum. I'm not talking about Daniel Dubois against another bum. But he's going to have to do something a little bit special to sell this event. And again, no date and venue. Yet yeah, this fight is signed. Strange, isn't it? And yet, B. Joe Saunders versus Demetrius Andrade is also... No date and venue. Yet fights are getting signed. Let's throw that one back at Team Wilder. What excuses do you guys have as to why Joshua versus Wilder didn't happen when he had a contract on his desk that for terms that he agreed to and he didn't sign? Yet he knew the venue, didn't know the date, and the date was going to be within a two week period. Hmm. Strange. Very, very strange. So, anyway, the subject of this video is it, with Frank Warren being highly critical of Sky Sports pay per views. Are these three fights, are these legitimate pay-per-view? Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all on the next video.